Na mtazamaji huenda taarifa hizi zikagusa wengi lakini habari za hivi punde ambazo zinatujia studioni ni kwamba muungano wa Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya na muungano wa Kenya kwanza ukiongozwa na Rais William Ruto hatimaye wameweza kufikia makubaliano kaa kitako bonyeza alama ya like na usubscribe kabla niweze kukupa taarifa nzima Uongozi wa Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya Coalition mnamo tarehe 29 Julai alasiri ambayo ni siku ya leo sasa hivi umeweza kufanya mkutano wa mwongozo wa Ole Sugun Obasanjo ambapo alikubaliana mambo kadhaa na serikali ya Ruto ya Kenya Kwanza kama ilivyoripotiwa muungano huo umekubali kuunda timu ya wanachama hawa kumi na kambi ya Ruto ambapo itajumuisha wabunge wanne nje ya bunge viongozi wengi na walio wachache katika bunge hilo na wabunge wengine wanne wa bunge hilo hata hivyo taarifa ya hivi sasa ambapo e, azimio la umoja wa Kenya imeweza kuchapisha kupitia mitandao yao rasmi ya kijamii ya Twitter nikinuku waliweza kusema hivi press release July 29th 2023 statement by azimio la umoja wa Kenya coalition party hehe he, nikisoma barua hiyo wameweza kuandika hivi of the leader of azimio la umoja wa Kenya coalition party having consulted with the leadership of Kenya Kwanza and under the facilitation of honorable Ole Sugun Obasanjo on the state of our nation desires of democratic and peaceful resolution of issues that beset our nation expressing our condemnation and regret on the violence that has visited our nation with loss of life serious injuries and the destruction of property affirming our commitment to adherence to the to the constitution and the rule of law determined to resolve our differences amicably for the benefit of all of our people we have therefore agreed with Kenya Kwanza Kumbuka hizi ni barua ama hii ni barua walioichapisha azimio sasa hivi na wameandika hapo chini we have therefore agreed with Kenya Kwanza to establish a committee of 10 composed of 5 members each from azimio la umoja and Kenya Kwanza as follows number 1 four members from our side parliam, from outside parliament two from each side number 2 the leaders of majority and minority from the national assembly Number three, four additional members of parliament, two from each side. Further details on this initiative shall be communicated in due course. Hata hivyo mtazamaji wa Simulizi Media, timu hiyo sasa hivi inatarajiwa kuhusika katika masuala kadhaa yanayoikabili nchi kwa sasa ikiwa ni pamoja na gharama kubwa ya maisha miongoni mwa mambo mengine mengi. Waliohudhuria mkutano huo wa sasa hivi ni waziri mkuu wa zamani Raila Odinga, kiongozi wa chama cha NAC Madha Karua, aliyekuwa makamu wa Kalonzo Musyoka, Katibu Mkuu wa Chama cha Jubilee Jeremiah Kioni na kiongozi wa wachache katika bunge Opio Wandai. Haya yanajiri licha ya msimamo mgumu wa Raila Odinga kuhusu maandamano dhidi ya serikali ambapo anatarajiwa kutangaza kozi yao ijayo ya maandamano hapo kesho siku ya Jumapili. Kwa upande mwingine kambi ya Ruto ya Kenya Kwanza imeshikilia kuwa haitaki handshake yoyote huku kambi ya Raila Odinga ikisema hatua hiyo itahatarisha ajenda zao kiongozwa na seneta wa Nandi Samson Cherargei viongozi hao wametaja hatari kwa serikali ya Kenya Kwanza iwapo Raila Odinga ataweza kukaribishwa katika serikali ya Ruto mwisho kwa maoni yako mtazamaji unakubaliana na hatua ya upande wa Raila Odinga kuunda timu itakao shiriki tena katika mazungumzo na kambi ya Ruto zidi ku like video hii na kusubscribe pia kumbuka kutoa maoni yako hapo chini katika comment section na kumbuka kusubscribe katika channel hii ya kupendwa ya Simulizi Media kwa taarifa nyingi zaidi kama hizi